The Writing on the Wall Daniel chapter 5 verse 5 Suddenly a human hand appeared and began writing on the plaster wall of the palace where the light from the lamps was shining most brightly. And the king saw the hand as it was writing. The years passed in Babylon and King Nebuchadnezzar died. The new king, Belshazzar, gave a great feast. He ordered that everyone should drink to their own gods and goddesses from the gold and silver goblets that were taken from the temple in Jerusalem. Although they were worried about using holy goblets for this purpose, his servants brought the sacred temple treasures to the feast and filled the precious cups with wine. The guests laughed and drank, shouting toasts to their gods. Suddenly, King Belshazzar turned pale. He was so frightened that his knees began to shake. He pointed a trembling finger to a white wall behind them where a flickering candle lamp shone. Luke, he whispered. The laughter and chatter stopped. For there, against the wall, a floating hand was writing. When it stopped, the hand disappeared, leaving the words, Meany, meany, tekel, or parson. What do the words mean? Balthasar asked anxiously, but no one could tell him. Anyone who can read the words and explain what it all means will be rewarded with riches beyond their dreams, the terrified king proposed and promised, but still no one could translate the mysterious words. Then Balthasar's mother came to the room and said, Call Daniel. God's spirit is in him, and he will know what the words mean. So Daniel was called, and he looked carefully at the writing. Then he said, I don't want your rewards, but I will explain the words to you. God has sent you a message. You have not learned about his greatness from the previous king of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar. Instead, you took the sacred cups from his temple to use as your drunken party. Mini means number. This means that the days of your reign are numbered. Tekel means weight. You have been weighed morally to see how honest you are and found to be unfair. Upharsen means division. Your kingdom will be divided between the Medes people and the Persians. There was nothing that Belshazzar could do. That very night, enemy soldiers stormed the walls of the city. They killed Belshazzar and put their king, Darius of the Medes, on the throne in his place. Did you know? Two common sayings come from this story. The writings on the wall and your days are numbered. <laughs>